my expectations down here in Altuve sized bar for this stream and boy uh, it could have been an Aaron Judge sized one and they would have toppled that a uh, lot of stuff big legend um, may or may not have something to do with this it's not Joe Mauer but it has something to do with this team very very happy uh, I'm super excited and the new features we're talking about is really cool as well it's not just road to the show it is some road to the show but it's upgraded new diamond dynasty stuff you don't have to care about road to the show the stuff that they talked about today you know monumentally uh affects diamond dynasty and the creative players so leave a like down below subscribe to the channel as always um always a great place to get quick news uh get insight for mlb the show get mlb 21 news uh gameplay pack openings all that stuff getting pretty close to launch uh, that being said, <coughs> Kirby Puckett is in the game. Yes, baby, Kirby Puckett uh, is a brand new legend into the game. Uh, I am super excited. Uh, as you guys know, I am a Minnesota native. Um, you know, secondary favorite team is the Minnesota Twins. I, I might favorite the Rays a little bit. Um, but uh, you guys actually, uh, yeah. So I guess we'll go ahead and hop into this one then. And talk about everything that we do need to talk about regarding ball player, which sort of combines Diamond Dynasty and Road to the Show elements, but important to realize they are still very separate. It is not, uh, you know, converged into one. Just your centralized ball player can be used in both. I imagine he's playing on two different teams. He's batting for both. Um, so Road to the Show and ball player, same guy, just. Uh, you know, different modes as we talked. Um, here's a little gameplay that we did see. We'll slap this in 4K. What are we even doing right now? There we go. I'm not in 4K, but this is in 4K. Um, so, what I want to talk about. Um, connect ball player of Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty. Separate experiences again. Just centralizing, sharing the same player. First thing they talked about is Road to the Show narrative. It has been, uh, I don't know. Maybe you would say a long-awaited feature. Maybe you would say it's a, been a laughing stock of Road to the Show in the last 90 years since it's been introduced because uh, they have essentially put no innovation. They had little text boxes pop up. They, they came out with like four or five years ago. That doesn't cut it. They now have a podcast, a fake podcast just for the game uh, that they worked on having a host alongside many MLB Network guests such as Sean Casey, Cliff Floyd, Robert Flores is in there and we're still waiting to hear. They have more of them. I'm thinking maybe this is a sneaky way to bring in Pedro Martinez. I, I would love to see that personally. Um, but we're going to go ahead and look into this one and... Uh, Kind of show you essentially Baseball how it's going to work. So you can hear a bit of the podcast you know, right there. Uh, hopefully, it uh, should be right, something that you're hearing right now. Uh, you cannot the, hear it. No, you can hear it. So I apologize. I, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty hyped right now. Kirby Puckett's got me feeling some type of way. Uh, you know, all my blood is not flowing up here. It's down there, you know, so to speak. Um, so you can kind of hear what's going on with the podcast. Um, something important to note, however... The video segment is only available for next gen, so the Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5. If you have a last generation console, that being the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, you only get the audio. So you can still hear everything they're saying, you're just not going to get the video portion. Um, that's going to be a pretty big weird champ if you ask me. You can't, you can't sit there with a straight face and tell me you can't play a video on a console. The PS4 is not strong enough, doesn't have enough horsepower to play a goddamn video? Are you joking? I, I disagree uh, wholeheartedly. I, I'm going to have to disagree there. Um, a big thing to note is there's 180 overall episodes. And what these are, um, the narrative. Essentially what it is, it's building up your ball player. A lot of people had complaints. You know, it's Road to the Show. It's supposed to be an RPG experience, but I don't really feel immersed. I don't really feel like my player is anything more than... You know, I could just create a player on a franchise, which is actually something I would do. I would just create a player on a franchise and player lock in so I don't have to deal with the other, you know, you know, surrounding things with Road to the Show, like it position changes 
you know, things like that, starting in the minor leagues. Um, and you now have 180 possible episodes. These are going to vary depending on what happens in your career. Uh, so you do well, they're gonna have, you know, maybe an episode talking about how good you're doing. So you have, again, like I mentioned, that Road to the Show podcast hosted by Ben Gelman. And once you get into the bigs, it's just gonna be Robert Flores and the MLB Network guys that are going to specifically be talking about you. So um, that's quite cool. Uh, I don't want to play too much audio. I don't think I could get copy written for this, but, you know, rather safe than motherfucking sorry. I, I usually uh, kind of like that saying. Um, so here you have Cliff Floyd again, another legend. He's already in the game. Sean Casey, maybe we're going to see him in the game at some point. Um, would be cool to see. I would assume they have his rights. Well, not necessarily his likeness rights. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to be dynamic based on how your career plays out. Uh, 180 total possible things. I think this is cool. I think you're going to enjoy it the first couple episodes. And I hope they uh, put passion into it. It looks like they did. I just hope it doesn't become something that uh, you skip. And I don't think there's going to be any reruns, repeats that are going to play on this program. Let's hope not. Um, so yeah, if you have multiple ball players that you make uh, eventually... Perhaps you might skip some of these that you've seen uh, already at that point because they won't specifically say your player's name, for example. They're not going to say uh, Seismic Schmidt is really uh, tearing the cover off the baseball this week. That's not going to happen. Let's move to talking about the two-way player. Um, as far as that goes, they didn't mention, um, or I, I don't think they showed too much, but they did talk about how it's going to be integrated. Uh, towards the beginning of when you start things, you're going to be pressed with a situation where the manager is going to ask you to hit and pitch. Um, so you're going to have to experience that, which is cool. Find out if you like it. Um, and if you don't like it, fine. And it actually gives you options. It's not, do you want to be a two-way player? Yes or no. It could be, yes, but I kind of want to be a reliever role. It could be, yes, but I only want to pitch every so often. Yes, I want to be a regular rotational piece and also be a uh, main contributor to the lineup. So you can really kind of choose um, the way I kind of saw it. Would you want to be a Michael Lorenzen type, a reliever that comes in every now and then? Or Shohei Otani, when you know he was healthy in 2018, uh, he was pitching every Sunday, uh, but I would imagine it would be every five days. Uh, five days, Jesus, uh, just like any other rotational guy um, for your two-way player. So that's quite cool. Again, uh, I'm very happy that it's not just uh, black and white, you know, starter or no, you're not going to pitch at all. I think that is very, very good. I'm glad they did it that way. And then finally, let's move on to ball player. We're looking at archetypes. We're looking at Diamond Dynasty integration, baby. This is what we're all coming here for. So ball player, again, is the foundation. Your player, you know, does things in Diamond Dynasty and in Road to the Show. It's the same player, but it's not the same thing. You're not going to have to, you know, have Road to the Show experiences if you don't want to. So loadouts. This is pretty big. These are called archetype items. Uh, I, I don't love the name, but I like what they do. So you have these right here. They specified everything. All attributes start at 50 once you kind of start your career, once you uh, make your ball player. And you can upgrade this through both Diamond Dynasty and Road to the Show. I feared you would have to go to Road to the Show to upgrade, which isn't the end of the world, no. But as we like to say here, it is the start of the apocalypse. I don't like playing Road to the Show. Maybe I will uh, you know, enjoy it a little bit more this year now that they seem to add a little bit more love and uh, dedication, some more time to it. Um, but typically, all oh, the servers are down. I flip on Road to the Show for you know a few minutes until they're back up. Uh, that's you know more sort of the thing. I'm half awake. And I wrote of the show and just slap that on really quick. Um, so you have these loadouts and it is kind of what you would think a loadout is if you've ever played a shooter, for example, like Call of Duty, uh, where you have different cards that you can plug and play and that's how you're going to play. You have all of these innately and you can upgrade them through time through performance. So, um, for example, Speedster, you want to play with a little bit more quickness, a little bit more pep to your step, that specific game and go ahead and do that. Next game, you decide, oh, I want to be slow. I, I want to hit for more power. I want to have that be one of my archetype items. Swap them, interchange them, 
and your play style is going to be different. Just like that. That was a good snap. I was hoping I was going to mess that up. Uh, always, you know, just kind of puff out your chest if you have a nice snap. It makes you feel a little bit better. Uh, at least I think so. Archetype items, um, yeah, kind of as I said, they really just swap in and out uh, that you can pick. Same thing goes for a pitcher if you want more power, if you want more velocity. And, you know, you can kind of see the player um, creation screen right there. Um, other things that I wanted to mention before we move on to the reward path for this. Um, perks and equipment will still boost stats. Uh, you can get perks, you unlock them through this process again, as I think you can kind of see uh, within this process. And equipment, uh, same way that it has always worked. It is still going to work the same way. You can save loadouts, so you don't have to go in and swap cards each and every single time. Um, Battlefront 2, if you ever played that game. Doesn't have a loadout system. Uh, I don't know. Just felt the need to say that. MLB The Show has it, but Battlefront doesn't have it. A shooter doesn't have it, but a baseball game does have it. Uh, kind of weird in my opinion. So let's move on to uh, this right here. Kind of the reward system where you're going to earn things. Just show you a little bit more of interchanging. You're going to be able to have three. A primary and two secondary or tertiary, however you want to look at it. Uh, I think maybe tertiary would be since there's uh, three of them. Um, but yeah, we're going to look at this uh, reward path. Same structure that we saw kind of in the XP reward path of the DD feature Twitter video. Um, so you can see equipment packs, um, perks, you're going to have that. Complete missions to earn progress towards this program. Missions is how you're going to do it. There are missions that can be done in either DD or Road to the Show. There's ones that can be only done in DD, ones that can only be done in Road to the Show. But again, you don't have to play Road to the Show. You don't have to play DD. So, you know, you can really kind of pick and choose how you're going to progress this ball player, which I think is fantastic. You want to play online? Great. You want to play offline? Great. Everything works if you, you know, want to do it that way. So, uh, pretty big fan of how this is working, like I said. And uh, that's essentially it. I think I pretty much nailed everything that I wanted to mention right here. Um, Upgrade your player based on DD or Road to the Show. Really get to pick and choose how you want to do things. And uh, yeah, upgrade path, loadouts. Biggest thing to take away from this is it's not building up a player, finding out you don't like him, and then saying, oh well, there's nothing I can do. Better make a different position or uh, yeah, I'm kind, of, kind of screwed. I'm you know, shit out of luck. Not the case anymore. You didn't like how you played? Swap, you know... Uh, archetype items and you're gonna have a different play style so love it they nailed it four legends that we've seen so far kirby puckett is the brand new one thank you guys all for watching this uh kind of breakdown with uh your old gomer simpson subscribe if you guys are new to the channel leave a like down below and uh as always i love you all thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys have a great day